going on everybody? Welcome to episode 3, The Rebuild. In this episode, we take care of all of the frame maintenance, we build a brand new subfloor, and we basically build the entire camper shell from scratch, framing out all of the new walls and getting them up. If you have any questions about anything in these videos, feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to reply, but in the meantime, enjoy the video. So today's the day. Um, we got the entire deck redone and built out of three quarter inch plywood. We've got everything undercoated. We've got all new bracing and supports where I felt it needed it, along with these. Wasn't looking forward to doing these. They needed so much prep to pull all these crown staples out and clean them up and getting them back in, fitting nice and tight, and then sealing it um, was a huge pain in the ass, but we got it done. So. Moving on to this first sidewall, we got the materials over here. Um, this is actually plywood paneling. It's really thin, but I am mimicking the same materials that they used on the build. That way it doesn't change any of the dimensions, um, along with the one by twos. So we are going to glue and screw everything on this project as much as possible. Other than that, we're gonna clean up the aluminum siding, get all that prepped and ready. Uh, I've seen a couple different processes as far as like tracing it out and kind of, you know, getting your template for the sides. I'm going to just sort of do a combination of all the things I think makes sense. So hopefully after this first wall, I've learned a lot and uh, we can just sort of repeat the process along the other side. Hopefully this goes well. See you guys in a little bit. So for this first side wall, I used four full sheets of plywood. I laid out the aluminum siding in the exact shape and traced out a perfect template, doors, windows, everything. I was lucky enough to have this one piece left as a template, which Bailey chose to use as a dog bed, but that's okay. From there, I took three quarter inch nails and glue with the one by two, and I framed out everything I needed on that sidewall. I gently flipped it over and ran chalk lines along all of the longest supports, and then added screws about every five inches or so. Surprisingly, this made it a lot less flimsy, and you were able to use the jigsaw and cut out your shape. And with that, we had one wall basically complete. I leveled out the platform, added some bracing, and it was time to put up the first wall. I couldn't believe how smooth this actually went. The dimensions came out perfect. And basically from there, we could just replicate the process, which is what we did.
So I just wanted to point out that the actual framing is mostly 1x2 or 1x3. Um, however, the interior is actually what makes this thing so much more rigid. Once you're building the interior kitchen, cabinets, things like that, it actually starts to make the structure extremely strong. So you don't really need to rely so much on the exterior framing for the actual strength of the structure. I went ahead and cleaned up all the original windows. I had to scrape off a ton of old purple tint with razor blades, but it worked out. And then I used a wire wheel to clean up all the aluminum framing so it's ready to go for install. So I've been getting a lot of questions about the actual interior layout and the plans. So I'll just go ahead and give you a heads up. Stepping in, we're gonna build a kitchen directly to the right with a full sink, cooktop, and refrigerator. It's gonna be a small L shape. Across from the front door, we're going to do a full stand-up shower. Behind that, we'll probably have some storage and possibly a portable toilet. Above this first wheel well is going to be a floor-to-ceiling closet for hanging clothes and storage. And basically, the entire back of the camper is going to be a full-size bed with long pull-out drawers underneath and a ton of overhead cabinets all the way across the back and sides. Going back to the front of the kitchen, we're also going to have overhead cabinets there as well. So as always, if you enjoyed this video today, please remember to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. The next video we post will most likely be building out the interior space, framing everything, and getting all of the roof paneling up. Thanks again.